Well, I think the bull market in gold is, is basically driven by the fact that currencies are debasing themselves. Countries are printing more and more money uh, to solve debt or to try and get themselves out of past fiscal uh, programs. So we continue to see that environment. We continue to see one where gold as a relative store of value is increasing, um, where central banks are now starting to acquire more gold. And I think the under, underlying factor then is the world financial situation has not yet sorted itself out. We don't see any sign of it sorting itself out anytime soon. And yet we see a population that is only just starting to learn about gold as a potential investment. So that means there's a lot of demand yet to tap into. And I think in terms of the practical side of things, there's very few quality world-class gold deposits being found. Well, I think we're still in a situation where companies are throw, countries are throwing as much money as they can at problems and they're still not showing up as inflation at the other end. So we're in potentially, uh, for the US, a very long-term deflationary cycle here, which ultimately, though, is going to lead to inflation because the amount of sheer amount of dollars they are putting into the system, in our view, have to manifest themselves as inflation eventually. But gold will perform very strongly in a deflationary environment, and I think that's what you're seeing. I hesitate to give advice to other people because I certainly wouldn't mimic my portfolio, which is heavily invested in, in my company. Yeah. But I think people can participate in gold according to the level of risk that they can tolerate. If they are very risk averse, then they should buy the metal in one form or another, either by proxy or directly. And the more risk tolerant they are, they should move to stocks. In terms of risk reward, the bigger reward lies with the stocks like the advanced explorers and the developers like ourselves. So it's really a question of balancing risk versus reward in a portfolio. But I certainly believe, certainly in my case, I, I own physical gold. I, I, and I also own obviously a lot of Rubicon. But I think that it should be a part of a balanced portfolio in the current environment. I know less about silver, but silver has always been referred to as the poor man's gold. It will function as money, although it clearly is an industrial commodity also. So I expect it to be a function of supply demand to a bigger extent than gold, but it is money. So it will do well.